I'm sure it's uh, a, an, an honor to follow him because he said everything. <laughs> it has truly been an honor to serve with Senator Al Lawson. You know, one of the, I think, the most important things for areas like Jackson County and all of the Panhandle is that we have a bipartisan delegation that knows how to work together. There are many areas of the state, folks, let me tell you, that within their delegation, there is turmoil. And they don't always work together. And it causes problems for their constituents. And I want you to know that I am extremely proud <coughs> of the relationship that my office and Senator Lawson's office and, and Don Brown's office before Brad Drake and now with Brad Drake, that we have worked so well together because we know what is most important. It is not whether we are Republican or whether we are a Democrat. It is how hard we work for the constituents and citizens of our district. And so it has been a, a true honor. And I just want to say that publicly, Senator. It has been an honor. I've, he's been a, he, I've learned so much from him and how you look at the issues. And, and even though we don't always agree uh, with our philosophy, we know how to work together to get what is best for our district. And that is important because we are facing a challenging time. We are. And no one, during the special session, no one was there going, yay, we get to reduce our budget. Nobody wanted to vote for the budget. It would have been nice if we could have just walked away. Unfortunately, because of the Constitution says you have to, we have to balance that budget. We were faced with some tough decisions. And, and we made those tough decisions. They weren't popular. They certainly were pleasant, but we did it. And now as we begin entering into the new legislative session, we are once again going to be faced with some challenges. But I think it is important, and Senator Lawson mentioned uh, many of the areas that we will be looking at. We are looking at the entire system, you know, the Internet sales. Uh, someone sat down with me yesterday and said, well, you know, how do you feel about that? And I said, well, oftentimes I do think it's unfair to our local businesses because someone may order online, to avoid that sales tax, and that hurts local businesses. So we're not creating a new tax. We are simply taxing what is already supposed to be taxed. So we're looking at a lot of, I think everything is on the table, and I know I've heard the speaker say before and the Senate president, you know, everything, everything is up for reevaluation. But then there's a fine line, too. We have to be very, very careful. We've looked at other states in the uh, country, and those states that have raised their taxes the highest are in much worse shape than the state of Florida. So the answer is not to just go in there and let's see how many taxes we can raise. It is to find that balance because if you look at the constitutional amendments that passed this last uh, election season, we saw the state of Florida, the people of Florida saying, you know what, I just don't need more money to give you. I have absolutely no more money I can give you out of my toy check. And so we've got to learn to make government more efficient and live within our means. Now that's just, am I saying well, we should cut everything? No, I'm not. I'm not. But I'm saying that we need to make sure that we are running efficiently. And again, there's that fine line, because as Senator Lawson said, we have state employees. I, I represent nine counties, starting in Okaloosa County, meandering all the way to Leon and Wakala. I have a lot of state employees. And I want those government agencies to run efficiently, but I certainly don't want people in my district to be getting pink slips. So our number one issue right now, as we enter into this new uh, session, is how can we recharge our economy? Because when our economy is good, we can fund the things that we need to fund. But we have to recharge that economy, create new jobs, without creating a tax system that overburdens our citizens. We certainly need to be careful with our small businesses. I know many of you face those taxes every day, and we have to be careful. We cannot create a, a climate in the state of Florida that is not business friendly. Those businesses, those small businesses, it's the backbone. I heard it, somebody say the other day, it's like 90% of our, our businesses in the state of Florida is made up of small businesses. So I just
Washington. I appreciate being here and our and the chamber. This is unbelievable. We have, as Senator Lawson and I share many of the same counties, and so we have quite a few delegation meetings. And we may have 20, 30 people on a good day for delegation meetings. This is phenomenal. I, I mean, it's exciting. So this is to thank you. I appreciate the opportunity that you're giving us to meet with